everyone, welcome back. So today is going to be a Zara blazer haul. I have been looking for some cool professional fall outfit. I think a blazer is like a great way to make a statement in an outfit, especially when it's cold out, you just are on the run, you woke up late, just wanna feel like a little more professional. I have not bought blazers in a long time. I've never bought a blazer from Zara, so I'm not sure what size I am. And I just got a bunch of different styles and different sizes. So I'll be trying on extra small, small, medium, and a bunch of different colors. So it's a pretty big Zara box. Really exciting. So this is kind of different for me. It's a purple blazer. It has really cool buttons on it. I love the gold contrast. It's pretty heavy, sturdy tweed. And the color I just thought was super cool. I'm trying to get away from black, so I wanted something a little bit more bright and cheery. This one is actually a small. It has shoulder pads in it. Sometimes I don't really like that too much. I already feel like I have pretty broad shoulders, but I guess that's what makes it like a power blazer. And it can look cool. It can be like slimmed down everything else too. I would probably wear this with white or maybe black even. I think this would be awesome for work. So let's see what it looks like. This is the purple blazer. I think it looks pretty cool open. You could shut it if you are in a more conservative work environment. But the color I think is super cool. I think it looks really good. It pops really nicely. And you can see how the shoulders look. They kind of, they definitely protrude. This is a pretty strong padding inside this blazer. I really like how it's creating like a nice, cool structured silhouette. And now this one is super cool. I love the color. This is the one I wanted in a small. They only had an extra small. So I'm really hoping extra small fits me. Sometimes it feels like tight in the armpit area and that can be really annoying. Um, occasionally I have kept a jacket even though it feels that way and then a few months later I regret it but when it's super cute it's hard to resist. Love the color of this, it's sort of like a Ferrari red, has the little pockets, it has a sateen finish on it. This one was $89.90, the purple one was $39.90. It has very light shoulder padding but enough to give it some structure and make it like look really cool very excited to try this one on i think this would go awesome with just like a cool black outfit like maybe a black crop top and high-waisted black pants so this is the red blazer i love this color this is the extra small and yes i think extra small fits me way better than the small does i can feel that it's a lot more snug on me. I'm pretty surprised because a lot of times I'll be a small in blazers. I am obsessed with this color. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And I love the silhouette. It's a very light shoulder padding. That might remind me of a ball mane, but it's Zara, right. it's not a ball mane. I just love the detail of the buttons. I think it does look cool with like the little crop top and the high-waisted pants. I love the material. What do you think? Do you like it or do you like the purple or neither? Let me know. Now this one is sort of a beige, vel soft velvet material. It's really, really soft. It's a lot more casual. It has the dark buttons. They're black. The inside is a nice white ivory. I'm honestly not sure about this. I have to see what it looks like on. It feels like maybe a little basic, but I think it could be cool too. So this one is also $89.90. This is a medium. It might be a little big. Maybe that's why I'm feeling weird about it. This is the medium. It feels too big for me. It's really comfortable though, really cozy. I could definitely see myself getting this in the extra small. The color looks really good too. I think in my actual size and extra small, this would be amazing. I would recommend this jacket to you. It's so soft. It's like a really soft velvety feel, but not tacky. So I love the color of this. It's like a pink satin shiny finish. It definitely needs to be steamed. It's super wrinkled. Again, the buttons are kind of like that ivory one. Like kind of interesting, but not that interesting. I think because of the material though, the buttons work. So sometimes with Zara, the models look really cool how they're like all posed in weird ways but i can't ever see what the clothes look like the color was so cool that i was like let me just order it since i don't even know if these sizes fit anyway and try it on this one is an extra small which is pretty crazy because it's really boxy i will show you what this looks like on so this is 
The pink one, extra small blush tone, really baggy kind of feel to it. Very satiny, soft. I think it's supposed to be sort of drapey, like almost like a silk robe. I think that's why it has so much material on it. It can be kind of cool if you look at it that way. You can maybe even wear it as a dress, like with just like a little cinch belt right here. Very light shoulder padding. This material is definitely gonna need steaming and ironing. If you don't mind the effort, it's pretty cute. More casual feel to it, really flows, you can tell. I think this has potential. I mean, it's kind of reminding me of like a doctor's outfit, but it could be really cool with the right outfit. All right, so that's it for the blazers. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like one of them more than the other? Do you hate one? I'd love to hear your opinion and don't forget to subscribe.